Uncle McGruff, got a minute for your favorite nephew? You bet, Scruff. Come on in. What can I do for you? I'm, uh, I'm kind of confused about something. Well, the best thing to do when something's bothering you is to talk about it, just like you're doing now. Okay, Unc. Here's the thing. Jimmy Allen, a friend of mine, wants me to come over to his house this afternoon before his folks get home. He found a gun in the closet, and he wants to... Hold it, Scruff. I can tell you right now, that's something you don't want to get involved in. Kids shouldn't even touch guns without adult supervision, no matter what the reason. They're just too dangerous. But why, Unc? I see guns on TV and in the movies all the time. That's true. But that's pretend. You know, make-believe. Let me tell you, guns and kids are a dangerous combination. In fact, let's take a look at my files and find out why gun safety is so important. The McGruff files? Yeah, good idea. Wow. Awesome computer, Uncle McGruff. You bet. With this, we can find out about all kinds of stuff with just a click on the mouse. The crime dog and his friend, the mouse. <laughs> I like that. Not great, Scruff, <laughs> but uh, not bad. So where do we begin, Unc? Information. That's the key. I want you to know the difference between pretend and real life, between toy guns and real guns, and what can happen when boys and girls handle firearms. The first thing I want to show you is how TV shows and movies aren't real. They're make-believe. Look here. This video was taken behind the scenes while they were making a TV show. Oh, hey! It's a shootout, huh? You mean they're actors pretending to shoot each other. The guns shoot blanks. The blood is fake. And the people who are supposedly shot are, in fact, never really hurt. But it seemed so real. You're right. But it wasn't. It just looked real. The actor pretended to be wounded, just pretended to die. What you see on television and in the movies is make-believe, Scruff. It's not real life. I guess it's important to know the difference, huh, Unc? You bet. Because in real life, guns are dangerous. People are injured and even killed by guns. Let me show you the difference between toy guns and real guns. These are toy guns. You know, water rifles, plastic squirt guns, cap pistols. Some of them look a lot like real guns. And they're not dangerous, right? Well, you never want to point a toy gun at someone because the person may think the gun is real. That could be dangerous because the other person could injure you if they thought you meant to harm them. Otherwise, you're right. Toy guns aren't very dangerous. But real guns, guns that aren't toys, those are a different story. You gotta realize that even something like a BB gun isn't a toy. Watch this. Wow, a BB gun did that, Uncle McGruff? It sure did, Scruff. Imagine if the BB had hit someone in the eye. Oh, no. And if you think the BB gun did some damage, look at this. Oh, no. That's what happens when a bullet traveling over 850 feet per second hits something like that. Wow, 850 feet per second? You see, when someone shoots a gun, the bullet or BB has one job to do to make a hole in whatever it hits. If a person had been standing there, the bullet would have made a big hole in them. You know Teresa and Diego, don't you? Sure, Teresa's a good friend of mine. We saw each other last week over at the playground. Oh, so you haven't heard about the accident. Accident? What accident? Well, it happened in their home. Diego found a gun next to his dad's bed. Diego shouldn't have touched the gun. He knew better, but he went ahead and did it anyway. Diego, what are you doing? Put that down, it's dangerous. It's not loaded. See? Oh, no, 
Not Teresa. Is she okay? She's alive, Scruff. And she's lucky to be alive. The bullet hit her in the leg. The doctors say it's going to be a long time before she can walk again. Diego made a big mistake, and it caused his sister a lot of pain and suffering. Now Teresa and I won't be able to play together, will we? Not for a long time, Scruff. Not for a long time. And she won't be able to play on the soccer team at school, take part in her term project, or even hang out with her friends like she used to. Wow. What can kids do to keep themselves from being hurt by a gun? Let me pull up another file. One about Jamal and his cousin Michael. Ah, here it is. Jamal knows what to do if he comes across a gun. He knows it's important to follow some basic safety rules. And that's just what he did when he and his cousin Michael found a shotgun one afternoon. That's a gun, Michael. No kidding. Come on, man, let's have some fun with it. No, dude, we're not gonna have any fun with that. Come on, we'll be careful. What could happen? Do you know if the gun has a safety catch or not? Uh, no. And even if it did have a safety catch, the gun could still go off. If it's loaded. And how do you know if it's loaded? Do you know how to find out? Uh, no. See, we don't know anything about guns. And even if we did, we still shouldn't mess with one because they're too dangerous. Besides, our parents told us not to mess with one or even handle one. Yeah, you're right. They don't want us to get hurt. My mom's inside and we'll let her take care of it. Good idea. Yeah. So what you need to do if you come across a gun is not to touch it. Leave the area right away and get any other children who are nearby to leave with you. Then tell a responsible adult, like a parent, teacher, or law enforcement officer about the gun. And if you're not sure whether a gun is real or if it's a toy, you should treat it like it is real and not take any chances. That makes sense, Uncle McGraw. But what are kids supposed to do when their friends ask them to play with a gun and they won't take no for an answer? Well, let's take a look at one last McGraw file. This one's about Kendra. Last month, a couple of Kendra's friends asked her to help them settle an argument with another group of kids. No, but it's really not worth an argument. There won't be an argument. How do you know? Come on, I'll show you. Check this out. My dad had it hidden in the closet. A gun? Yeah. With this, there's no reason to be afraid of anyone. Isn't that right, Jason? Uh, yeah. Right. So, are you gonna come along with us, Kendra? Kendra was in a tough spot, wasn't she? She knows how dangerous guns are, but she didn't want to go against her friends. I know how she felt. I'm in the same spot with Jimmy Allen. What'd she do, Unc? Well, Scruff, you kids have a right to think for yourself. Just because your friends want you to do something doesn't make it right. I mean, if a situation feels wrong, it probably is wrong. Trust yourself and your feelings and be strong enough to break away from the group if what they're doing doesn't seem okay because your life is involved and theirs is too. That sounds good to me. But what did Kendra do? Let's find out. Are you with us or not? No way, Ross. Not me. Guns are dangerous. Somebody could get hurt or even killed. Oh, what do you know? I know it's wrong to settle an argument with a gun. That's what. And I also know about gun safety. My Uncle Mark taught me all about it. What about gun safety, Kendra? Well, for kids our age, it's wrong to even touch a gun. And if we see a gun, we should leave the area and tell a responsible adult. You gonna tell about this? Yeah, I am. Cause you're my friends and I don't want you guys getting hurt. Are you coming with me, Jason? Yeah. I don't want anything to do with that gun. Come on, you 
you guys. You guys! Come on, you guys! You guys! Okay, okay, you're right. Messing with a gun is pretty stupid. And dangerous, too. How are you gonna get that back home without your dad finding out? Hey, why don't we give the gun to my Uncle Mark? He'll know what to do with it, and maybe he can help us explain what's going on to your dad. Well, I guess that would be okay. Way to go, Kendra! Way to go is right. Touching a gun is bad enough, but using one to settle an argument is against the law, and it could kill someone. It's just plain wrong. Now, let's you and I go talk with your friend Jimmy and his mom and dad about gun safety. Good idea, Uncle McGruff. I'll make sure he knows that boys and girls shouldn't touch guns. And if we see one, we should leave the area right away. Then we should tell a responsible adult, like a law enforcement officer, teacher, or our parents. Exactly right. And if every kid does that, we can be much safer and we can take, take a, a bite, bite out of crime. crime.